हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल केमिकल इंजीनियर आई एम साहिल यादव एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फ्लूड एलोकेशन इन शेल एंड ट्यूब टाइप हीट एक्सचेंजर सो इन मोस्ट ऑफ द इंडस्ट्री यू विल फाइंड शेल एंड ट्यूब टाइप हीट एक्सचेंजर्स सो दिस टाइप ऑफ हीट एक्सचेंजर्स आर वेरी इफेक्टिव इन ट्रांसफरिंग हीट और गिव्स द बेटर हीट ट्रांसफर को ऑफिशियंट सो there are two parts in shell and tube type heat exchanger that is shell and second is tube so how this fluid is allocated and which type of fluid should be passed through shell and which type of fluid should be passed through tube that we will see in this video all right so let's start the video okay so this is a basic uh, figure of shell and tube type heat exchanger so here we have tube inlet so fluid which will be going to pass through tubes will come to or come inside the heat exchanger from this tube inlet and pass through tubes and goes out from tube outlet okay so this is for tube moreover for shell we have shell inlet and shell outlet that is the fluid which is in the blue area so all these white colored are tubes here also we have a shell so this is shell and we have white colored tubes so this image should be clear in your mind that how the fluid goes through shell and tube heat exchanger now let us see which fluid should be passed through tubes or which fluid should be passed through shell so in order to categorize it we see various parameters so let me write a uh, various parameters so this type or this parameters we check before sending fluid to the tube or to the shell okay so parameter is first and the most important parameter in fluid allocation is cost okay so first and foremost parameter that we check whether the fluid should be passed through shell or through the tube is the cost so let me make you clear that cost is so shell the cost of a shell is very very more than the cost of tubes okay so please remember this that the cost of shell is more than the cost of tubes so whenever you go to buy any tubes for shell and tube heat exchanger it will be cheaper compared to the shell why because shell is made up of the ss or stainless steel non corrosive material or coating is also there on the shell as well as it is also there on tubes but shell uh, requires more area and it can which which withhold the higher pressure so that's why shell is de designing of a shell is costlier okay second parameter that we check is the phase of the fluid okay so before okay so it's okay but let us see how we allocate fluid okay so fluid allocation so let us start from first now various types of fluid are there so first is suppose we have condensing or we have vaporizing fluid so here we can include what we can include steam because steam may get condensed more over water or any other fluid which is prone to phase change okay so suppose if water is going through tube and heating material is passing through shell then water will evaporate so this type of phenomena is known as phase changing fluid so whenever we have a phase changing fluid we pass it through shell now you may ask that why we should pass it through shell so 
if phase change is there suppose in tube the phase is changing it is uh, what we can say it is suppose uh, material is evaporating suppose evaporation is going on suppose we have passed water through tubes okay so we have water passing through tubes and heating material suppose we have furnace oil not a furnace oil suppose uh, heating oil is there which is passing through shell now uh, you all are chemical engineer or mechanical or any branch you all should know that if we pass up any fluid or if suppose vaporization is taking place pressure increases so in order to withhold that pressure we have a designing of a shell okay so tubes may withhold the pressure but up to certain limit but after that limit tube may burst okay so this will cause more or more error in calculation so that's why as pressure increases or pressure decreases there is a pressure change then we pass that fluid through shell that's why designing or cost of a shell is more okay so this is for condensing or vaporizing fluid second we have corrosive fluid corrosive fluid fluids so corrosive fluids should be passed through tubes why we can pass it through shell because shell also have the corrosive protection sheet but tubes are cheaper that's why we pass corrosive fluid through tubes okay then we have fouling fluid fouling means i hope you all know fouling fluid that will be impacting through smell or may have a property to produce scale or sludge this type of fluids are known as fouling fluid so the same reason applies here tubes because they are cheaper all right now fourth is very hot or very cold very hot or very cold fluid so suppose we have very hot fluid or very cold fluid that fluid should be passed through tube always okay why because very hot fluid is there it will heat exchange so it requires more area and tubes can provide more area okay or moreover we can understand it from the one that it point 1 that shell is costlier and phase change may occur so that's why we have tubes for very hot or very cold fluids next we have high pressure stream high pressure stream so high pressure stream should be passed through okay so this should be passed through tubes okay up till now i was saying that shell can withhold high pressure and that all things but why this high pressure streams are passed through tubes so please google it and please comment down why it should be passed through tubes why are we not passing through shell because shell can hit withhold higher pressure compared to tubes but then also we are passing high pressure stream through tubes okay so this is a contradiction to point number 1 we have seen for condensing or vaporizing fluid so please give your answer i will be checking your answer in the comments okay please next we have low velocity low velocity so we can conclude that low velocity is okay so this is a question 2 for this video that what is the relation between pressure and velocity this is not a relation direct relation but what is the relation between pressure and velocity this is question 2 you have to answer in comment so low velocity fluids are generally passed through 
shell side why because in shell we can uh, give the more heat transfer area to the low velocity fluids suppose if we are passing high velocity fluid through tubes it can give more heat transfer to the fluid which is flowing slowly or slowly flowing fluid can pass heat to fast flowing fluids it may be confusing to you but remember that low velocity fluids are passed through shell and give the two answers for this video all right so this is all from my side if you have any doubt or if you have any example to ask you can just comment me or you can just join us on telegram and ask there thank you for watching the video please subscribe to the channel chemical engineer thank you